Dear audience, welcome back to our channel. With the development of the times, tanks, as one of the core weapons of the army, have continuously evolved in technology. From the first to the third generation, each generation of tanks represents the most advanced level of technology at that time. However, with new challenges and demands emerging, we can't help but wonder, how will the fourth generation main battle tank be defined? In this era full of challenges and opportunities, is it necessary for China to develop the fourth generation main battle tank? What major breakthroughs can it achieve in terms of technological performance? Let's explore together and draw a new blueprint for the future development of tank technology. Today's video introduction is as follows. 1. What is the definition of the fourth generation main battle tank? How does it differ from and innovate compared to previous generations of tanks? 2. At the current level of technology, is it necessary for China to start developing the fourth generation main battle tank? What technological challenges need to be overcome? 3. What kind of technological performance might the future fourth generation main battle tank possess? How will it cope with the complex challenges of modern warfare? Of course, in recent years, tank technology worldwide has been advancing. The United States has introduced the M1A2 SCP tank, Germany has its Leopard 2A7 model, and China has developed the Type 99A main battle tank. In addition, South Korea has introduced the XK2 model, France has produced the Leclerc 140, and Russia's T14 has also attracted attention. Japan has contributed the Type 10, and Israel has not lagged behind in showcasing its new Carmel tank. These new models each demonstrate their respective technological advancements. Some countries, including Japan and South Korea, even claim that their latest tanks have surpassed those of other countries, reaching the so-called fourth-generation tank level. However, Russia claims its T-14 tank as a fourth-generation product. However, with an objective analysis of the current level of technological development, we can observe that although there are significant improvements in performance, there is no revolutionary leap, so these tanks might more accurately be described as improved third-generation tanks. The development history of tanks can be divided into different generations, each representing technological progress and changes in the demands of warfare. The first generation main battle tank covers the period from the invention of tanks to 1960. This stage witnessed the initial leap in post-war technology, with the main features being tanks equipped with large caliber guns and high horsepower diesel engines, significantly enhancing firepower and mobility. The second generation main battle tank spans from 1960 to 1975. During this period, Countries around the world paid more attention to the strategic value of tanks, leading to increased investment in tank technology research and development. This resulted in a second major development in technology, including the integration of the latest achievements in optics, mechanics, hydraulics, and electronics into tank design. Iconic technological updates include the introduction of smoothbore guns, night vision devices, electric transmission systems, and advanced fire control systems. The third generation main battle tank began after 1975, as emerging technologies such as microchips, computer technology, radio communication, and satellite navigation began to develop, tank design began to enter the information age. The fusion of these technologies significantly improved the combat effectiveness, command and control, communication, and intelligence collection capabilities of tanks. The evolution of each generation of tanks reflects the peak of technological level at that time and continuously adapts to the evolution of battlefield environments and tactical requirements. The breakthroughs of contemporary third-generation main battle tanks in technology mainly include the following aspects. Firepower, these tanks adopt innovative depleted uranium technology and have the ability to launch missiles, significantly enhancing their attack power. Fire control system, advanced thermal imaging devices and independent sighting devices provide all-round vision for the commander and gunner, while command fire control and automatic target tracking technology greatly improve shooting accuracy. Defensive capability, integrated passive, active, and comprehensive protection systems provide multi-layer security. Improved mobility, ensuring rapid and flexible movement through the use of high-power engines and inertial navigation systems. 
Information technology, vehicle information management systems enhance communication and information sharing between vehicles. The Type 99A main battle tank of China is a typical representative of the technological achievements of this generation. It not only highlights the above characteristics, but also brings the following innovations. 1. The Type 99A tank marks a significant leap forward for China in the informatization of army equipment, realizing real-time acquisition, transmission, processing, and display of battlefield intelligence, making coordinated operations and system monitoring possible. All software and components are independently developed and produced, making it China's first truly informatized combat tank. 2. The Type 99A tank has one of the most powerful combat capabilities in the world, with key performance indicators reaching or exceeding the world's advanced levels, including the ms one a 2 of the United States and the Leopard 2A6 of Germany, surpassing Russia's main battle tanks comprehensively. In terms of firepower, the Type 99A continues to use a 125mm main gun, but through technological improvements, it has increased the types of ammunition that can be fired, enhancing penetration and hit rates. The introduction of a muzzle observation device for the first time can automatically correct aiming errors, further improving shooting accuracy. Using China's unique high-pressure gun technology, its tail-stabilized armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabo shells are capable of penetrating the frontal armor of any existing main battle tank. Regarding protection, the Type 99A adopts a novel wedge-shaped turret design and is equipped with a new generation of explosive reactive armor to resist armor-piercing shells. A new composite armor has been specially added to the top of the turret to counter attacks by top attack munitions. In addition, a laser suppression sighting device developed independently by China is installed on the left rear side, which can interfere with the optical aiming systems of the enemy. Meanwhile, the fire control system and information warfare capabilities of the Type 99A tank have also been comprehensively strengthened and improved. Finally, there is high mobility. The integrated transmission system is the most revolutionary advancement of the Type 99A. The Type 99A tank is equipped with an advanced engine with a maximum output power of 1500 horsepower and the CH-1000 type hydromechanical integrated automatic transmission device. The tank, weighing more than 50 tons, reaches a maximum speed of 80 km per hour on the highway and a maximum speed of 60 km per hour off-road. The development trend of the fourth generation tank mainly reflects the following aspects. 1. Firepower the muzzle kinetic energy of the main gun of the fourth generation main battle tank must reach at least 30 megajoules, which means that electric thermal chemical guns or electromagnetic guns must be used. China's fourth generation tank may use a 140mm gun, but electromagnetic guns may be installed as needed. 2. Protection The fourth generation main battle tank must be equipped with active protection systems, including passive and active electromagnetic armor. This can significantly reduce the weight of the tank. 3. Power The fourth generation main battle tank needs to achieve a qualitative breakthrough in high power density engine technology, increasing the rated power of the engine to over 2000 kilowatts. Hybrid power technology must also be practical. For informationization, the fourth generation main battle tank will mainly continue to improve performance in battlefield situational awareness. AI assisted driving combat systems, etc. Crew members may be equipped with VR virtual reality helmets to enhance their situational awareness. China has already determined to adopt a two person crew configuration, and unmanned versions may also appear. Additionally, radar infrared stealth technology is also a point of attention. Currently, Russia's T 14, Poland's PL 01, all claim to be fourth generation tanks but in reality, they all look advanced in appearance, but none of them have truly achieved the indicators of fourth-generation tanks. Even to say, they haven't even touched the edge of fourth-generation tanks. While the United States is technologically advanced, it hasn't urgently needed to initiate a fourth-generation tank project. Moreover, everyone faces similar challenges, and progress is not as much as China's. Therefore, Barring any accidents, the first fourth-generation tank is likely to appear in China. 
Does China need to develop the fourth-generation main battle tank? What kind of technological performance can truly be called fourth-generation main battle tank? Based on the above assumptions, what kind of technical and tactical performance might the fourth-generation main battle tank have after its appearance? Let's look forward to China's fourth-generation tank together. Finally, I'll summarize today's video, hoping it has inspired and provided value to you. In recent years, the intensification of China's arms race has attracted widespread attention. As a senior blogger, I believe we cannot ignore the impact of this trend. China's tank technology continues to advance, especially with the emergence of the Type 99A tank, demonstrating China's ambition and strength in the military technology field. However, this competition has also raised some concerns. Firstly, arms races may exacerbate regional tensions, leading to increased geopolitical risks. As countries' military capabilities improve, the strategic balance may be disrupted, increasing the likelihood of misjudgment and conflict. Secondly, arms races may increase pressure on defense spending, weakening investment in people's livelihoods and development in various countries. Faced with this situation, I call on governments and the international community to strengthen dialogue and cooperation, jointly work to alleviate regional tensions, and avoid falling into a vicious cycle of arms races. At the same time, I suggest that countries pay more attention to resolving disputes through diplomatic means, actively promote arms control negotiations and international security cooperation, and contribute to regional peace and stability. Finally, I hope that governments of all countries can make prudent decisions, balance military power with economic development, and always prioritize the well-being of the people, making more contributions to building a harmonious world. Welcome to share your thoughts in the comments section. Today's video ends here, see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.